right, so um, I'm not sure who to go for, H before beauty, I don't know. Um, <laughs> all right, well, Paul is a whiz kid. He is, he's a whiz kid. This kid started a business. He was, I wanna make sure he's right, when he was 16. What were you doing when you were 16? You probably weren't starting a business, right? He's now, <laughs> he's a couple years older than 18, but he was 16 in 2001, do the math. <laughs> when he was a senior in high school, he founded his company, Count on Us PR, specializing in SEO, website consulting, traffic generation, and online PR. Some of his more recognizable clients include Compassion International, BusinessFinance.com, and Coffee.org. WizKid, really cool stuff. Recently completed a $785,000 deal in under 30 days and followed it up with another $240,000 the next month. Who could get excited about that? So that's Paul. Frank Souza. does anybody in here not know Frank? Raise your hand if you don't know Frank. Smarty pants. <laughs> okay, so there's there are two people. So for the two people who raised their hand, we'll let we'll we'll do the little song, you know, dog and pony show. Frank Souza is ha, oh, he's fabulous. He's like the grandfather of the of the internet marketing industry. He's, he's such a good guy, right? And he and he, you're gonna show pictures of the kids, right? Uh, no, actually, no I'm pictures today. No pictures okay, all right. So Frank's a software developer. Kids plural. Okay, he's a software developer. He built programs such as Secret Money Generator. Maybe you've heard of Traffic Geyser once or twice this weekend, mm -hmm. <laughs> and many more. Frank's a guy who never went to college. Everything is learned about internet marketing, software development, and business in general. He's taught himself. I'm reading now, folks, so don't you dare come to him and tell him you can't do something because you're not technical. Yeah. Frank don't you dare. taught himself. He learned. One of his biggest joys is working with his two sons and his daughter-in-law, and He's, he's just amazing. He's a great guy. I don't know what else to say. He, 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 you know, plenty. Ken, they call Ken the, one, the nicest guy in internet marketing. I don't know if I agree. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say the <laughs> nicest do. duo in internet marketing because these two guys really are a tag team. Every time I've seen Frank and I've seen Ken, they're together. They're together a lot. That says something, okay? The successful people hang out together. Successful people hang out together. And so here's two successful guys, Paul Counts and Frank Souza. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, man. Ken, first off, before we even get started, uh, Ken, I, I do want to thank you for this beautiful, not, not the room necessarily, but this beautiful facility. You know, I've been to Las Vegas before, and this just doesn't look to me like Las Vegas. So I, I really, except for one thing, I, I, I was up in the, uh, the casino, which looks like every other Las Vegas casino. Was anybody up there last night? Yeah. Did you see that chicken? Did you see the chicken that got loose in there? No. <laughs> I, it had to be a joke or something, but there's this chicken running around in the casino. And, and these guards chasing this stupid, you know, probably a half a dozen guards trying to chase this stupid chicken all around the casino. Got up, you know, on the, uh, on the slot machines, pooped on one of the blackjack tables, well, he finally got the darn thing and hauled it out for foul play. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I, I used that one once before, too. Uh, I got to tell you the story about how I met Paul. I, I love this story, too. Uh, wait a minute. Paul, you got to lose the jacket. Get, what? Let's get that. Get, lose the jacket. Okay. This is an internet marketing conference. <laughs> the internet marketing lifestyle. So, do you, you work from home? I do. I work yes. from home. Yep. Who in the world needs to see a? a, a now, do you have a T-shirt on? We were gonna. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, we were gonna have him take the shirt off too. It's a dress shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I met Paul on an airplane one time. I was flying down to Florida to an internet marketing conference. I was speaking with uh, Mark Hendricks. And Paul was on an airplane going to visit who was then his girlfriend, who's now his wife. This is what, three, four? Three years ago. Oh, it had ago. to be more than no, that, four five years or ago. six years yeah, ago. Yeah, I think. it was a while ago, yeah. So it was quite some time ago. And we just got to talking. What do you do? What do you do? Well, uh, he says he was just getting started in internet marketing. Oh, really? That's what I do. No kidding. And I said, yeah, I'm going down to Florida. I'm going down to speak with Mark Hendricks. And you know Mark Hendricks? <laughs> wow. 
So, you know, we, we had a great discussion and everything like that. We, I don't remember at Kansas City, wherever we got off yeah. the planes, I went one way, he went the other. Pretty much that was the end of it until his brother got married. And uh, Paul came to his brother's wedding and he met this woman, the activities coordinator at this church. Her name is Carol Souza. <laughs> and he says, oh my gosh, do you know Frank Souza? <laughs> she says, yeah, I've been married to him for quite a while. <laughs> and uh, so that's kind of how Paul and I connected again. We, we have uh, kind of been uh, communicating on and off for the last couple of years, and Paul began to show me some of the things that he was doing. I invited him into our mastermind group. Uh, we talk, what is it, Tuesdays? I yeah, don't remember. Tuesday, every Tuesday. Every yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. And, and Paul was showing me some of the things that he was doing on the internet to, uh, to generate revenue. And I'm just going, oh my goodness, that's brilliant. <laughs> I said, you need to teach that. You need to put together some kind of a program and teach people how to do that. And it, it took a little bit of pushing, oh, yeah. a little bit of reminding, yep. and stuff like that. But when you see what this guy's put together, you're absolutely going to be ah, amazed. Uh, a couple of quick questions by a show of hands. Uh, gee, where do I start with this? How would you like to build a website in less than an hour, a money-making website that you can walk away from and have it generate anywhere from 50 to a couple hundred dollars a month? Anybody want to do that? How would you like to take that same website, turn it around tomorrow, and sell it for 100 bucks? Yeah. And then do that five or six, seven times a day. How many times can you do that? Uh, how to build a profitable website in less than an hour. Yep. Now, uh, one of the things that I see a lot when, when, uh, when I talk to people, you know, emails and stuff like that from our customers, what I find that people want an awful lot is they want step-by-step -step directions. Did anybody here would like to have some step-by-step -step directions? You want to see that right now without paying us a dime? We're going to show you exactly. We're going to show you every single step that Paul takes to do just exactly that. So I hope you've got a lot of paper and write some darn good notes. And with that, Paul, I'm going to let you uh, Say hi to everybody. Thank you. Uh, Frank Souza is a great guy. That was definitely a God thing, you know. I was sitting next to him, so very blessed yeah. to be able to sit next to him and connect. And you know, here I am. It's it's amazing. So thank you, Ken, for allowing me to speak, and and I'm just really excited. So uh, I come from Oklahoma. Um, I'm originally from the state of Washington, and I now live in Oklahoma with my um, beautiful wife and daughter, who is a budding internet marketer, as you see. <laughs> Um, and we also have another baby on the way. Um, you see that perfect baby in there? Uh, that is due, or the, the kid is due April um, 1st or March 31st or April 1st. So, um, so this, this is a little bit about me. Um, just briefly, you know, they already mentioned some of the other stuff how I, I got into business. But we're really here to show you guys how to build a website step by step. So I, I kept my, uh, my biography very short. So <laughs> these are the important things to me right here. So. Um, so I'm going to just get right into it, and uh, we're going to start with the first step. How's that? Step one, find a popular niche. This is, this is huge, wouldn't you agree? You yeah. know, finding, finding a niche is enormous, and, and a or, lot of people Or if you're it. Canadian, it's a niche. A niche, that's right. A mm -hmm. niche or a niche, you know, it's spelled the same way either way. But <laughs> this is the very first step. Of course, you have to have a niche before you build a website. Uh, so these are just some of the methods I use. Uh, you can write these down, the ebay.com homepage. See, eBay uh, actually displays their top 10 items, top 10 most searched for items on their homepage. It's because they want users to find the most you know, searched for phrases. But I view it as a great tool for marketers because if you know it's a popular item on eBay, eBay gets a ton of searches, wouldn't you agree? Tons of traffic. So you know, they've already done the research for you. It's sitting there on the homepage. So check out ebay.com homepage. Uh, Amazon.com bestsellers, uh, believe it or not, they also want people to buy all their best-selling products. So they've set up a link. I'll give you a little bit of time to write that down. Very important link. You can go there. Initially, when you get there, you'll see the best-selling books. But on the left side there, you'll see where it talks about uh, electronic products. It talks about uh, 
cameras. It talks about any kind of product, really, that you're looking for, home and garden products. And it'll show you the best-selling products by category. So you can find all sorts of niches. So there really should be no excuse, you know, why you can't find a niche. Uh, and also finding a niche, I mean, that seems to be a lot of people struggle with that when they're starting out. I can't find a niche. You know? I, can't, I can't stress enough how important that is. Uh, people come to me all the time and say, well, what do you think about my great idea about this? Or what do you think about my great idea about yeah. that? It doesn't make a hill of beans what I think about your idea. You've got to find something that people want to buy. It, what I also found too, I mean, if, if you're using sites with the best niches, when it comes time to sell those sites, yeah. you're, you're able to sell them more because people don't care about poodle, poodle breeding, you know, but they may care about another kind of niche, you know. So, so keep that in mind too. If these niches are hot here, then it means it's going to be a lot easier to sell it also. Plus, it means there's a lot more searches on the search engines and there's a lot more when you leverage your marketing methods, which will be discussed, there's a lot more avenues to make money. So. Uh, Pricegrabber.com, I uh, hope you guys had a chance to write this down. This is a great tool. In fact, I actually use this tool to find the niche that we're working in uh, for this. So, well, yeah, since, can, oh, go ahead. Can I, can I uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys, we are going to build a website live yep. right here. Now, tomorrow morning, at the beginning of the meeting, we're going to give that website to one of you in the room here. Ken, that, that's a gift that we want to give to somebody. We're going to build that live. Tomorrow, we're going to give that to somebody. So be here at 8 o'clock in the morning, or whenever it starts. Is it 8 o'clock that it starts? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. All right. OK, well, we're going to give it away at 8, but. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to actually show you, since we're doing this step by step, I'm going to just jump on here. And I'm actually going to open up this window, and we're going to actually take a look at what Price Grabber looks like. So pardon me while I sit down. It's just a lot easier while I do this. Uh, but you see here, pricegrabber.com, they show you their top 200 products. They update this daily. Is this valuable for you guys? Yeah. Good, good. All right, notice as, as I scroll down there, uh, the item that I actually selected, I pre-selected the niche that I'm going to work with here. Uh, it's the Panasonic Plasma TV. So you see it right here on the first page. Uh, this is a great tool. So again, notice how all these niches up here. You could build a site on the Nikon D80 camera. You could build a site on the Pan another Panasonic Sonic TV, uh, on the Wii. There's all sorts of niches that you, know, that you could build sites on. And what's really neat here is that these are buyer keywords, you know, like, like when you're doing your search engine stuff. These are keywords that if somebody types in like Nikon D300 <laughs> camera, like you see right there, you know they're a buyer because obviously uh, they know what they want, you know. It's different than saying digital camera, you know. Wouldn't yeah. you agree on that? Yeah. So, so the, the niche we chose that I actually selected for this presentation is the Panasonic Plasma TV. So there it is right there. But I just wanted you to see that, that great page. So I'm going to return here. Um, so again, we've got Price Grabber, that was another one, and also Sky Mall, uh, <laughs> yes. which is actually this right This blew here. me away when he, when he told me about this one. This, how many of you guys flew here? Did you guys all know your niche research was sitting in front of you yeah. on the plane? This is a great tool. I'm probably the only person that takes it off the plane, but whenever I fly, I love it when they have a new issue. They've done the research for you. Yeah, exactly. They've done the research. They've spent all the study. They know what sells. I mean, they have thousands of more products than you see in here, so they know what sells, so tap into their resources. There's no reason you should do your own market research. Every single product in here could potentially be a website. Absolutely. So. We armed with this knowledge just with step one, there should be no excuse for not finding a niche. So how so. many people would like to have a whole market uh, research department behind them? Yeah, everybody? How many people think it's stupid to raise your hands at these things? <laughs> <laughs> so, so there we have it. So we selected the niche, the Panasonic. I'm going to show you the next thing I do. Now that I've selected that niche, it's working with the Panasonic uh, TV, Panasonic Plasma TV. So we're going to research keywords. I love to use the AdWords keyword tool for keyword research. So I'm going to sit down here again and show you this. One of the nice things about it is that it's free. Yes, this is a free keyword research tool. I use it all the time. It gives you a great, great idea for what to go with. So I, I type in like the main keyword, like I found Panasonic Plasma as the main phrase. So you see here where it says descriptive words or phrases. That's where you type in what you're looking for. 
Okay, and then we just select on get keyword ideas. I inserted that special code that we all see. Okay, and then you see a lot of search information. Now this is pretty crazy. They show you, you know, it's, it's fairly accurate. You can never guarantee the accuracy of these keyword research tools, but this gives you a good idea, you know, as to the volume of searches. You see how many people are actually looking for the Panasonic Plasma TV? It's pretty wild. So I'm gonna look down here and there's a niche that I really picked out. And I'm gonna show you kinda, this is how I use this tool. It's kinda different, but I look for these keywords. Like the more green there is, it means the more people are buying pay-per-click ads for those. Do you guys all see that? And what I like to look for is the ones that have minimal pay-per-click pay advertisers because what I found is that more people will, or less, excuse me, like if less people are paying for those keywords, there's less competition with SEO and stuff like that, search engine optimization keywords, because they don't know about those keywords. They're not bidding on them, you know? So there's a great way to tap into some new niches. So this one obviously grabbed my attention because it has an average of 135,000 searches a month and there is actually a very low advertiser competition. In fact, I, I, I almost kept this niche to myself but I decided not to because there's so many other ones out there, so. So somebody's gonna get this website tomorrow. Yeah, somebody's gonna get this great niche. Okay, so now I go to google.com. I've copied and pasted that keyword that I found, and I search for it in quotes into Google. Now, do you notice here when I search in quotes, what I'm doing there is narrowing down the searches by how many uh, different sites are targeting that exact keyword phrase. Now, do you notice how there's only about 12,000 uh, competitors targeting that exact keyword phrase? Well, that, uh, what that tells me is that this is a fairly easy keyword to get rankings for because, as you saw over here, it's getting searched for over 100,000 times. So you notice that there, there's a lot of room you know, to get your site ranked up there. You're not competing against millions of sites. So this is niche marketing at its finest right here. I think there was what, 12,000? 12, 12,000 results and 100,000 search phrases. So, and also the, the competitors aren't like targeting it all that heavily either. You notice uh, this, this main blue part, I'll point it out here. These are the title tags, you probably all know that. Google picks these up from the title tags. And notice how a lot of them aren't even using that in their title tags. That's like the most important thing Google uses for ranking sites. And when I see sites that, that basically aren't optimizing with those exact title tags, it means they got those rankings by accident. So that gets me excited because I know I can build a site and outrank them rather quickly. And when we talk about SEO, I listen to what this guy says. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so there, there we have uh, the keyword. We selected the keyword phrase. So you notice how I did that using the AdWords keyword tool. And notice back here, there's all sorts of options. I mean, there's all sorts uh, other directions you could even go with this. There's even like uh, Panasonic Plasma. There's all these different keywords that you could tap into once you build the site as well. So you can build the site with this main keyword, and then you can create extra pages on this website. Yeah. So it, it's pretty neat. So this is the, the keyword we have selected, is the Panasonic Plasma, um, p excuse me, Panasonic 1080p Plasma. So that's the keyword we're going from. So I'm gonna return back here and go over a couple of other uh, rather quick keyword research ideas. Uh, AdWords keyword tool, I love that one. You can also go to MSN Live, it's live.com, it's the new msn.com search engine. Uh, when you type in the keyword, they'll give you related searches down the right side, like they pull it from their database, so you can find additional keyword ideas there. Yahoo search assist, I, I could talk for hours on SEO, so I'm not gonna bore you with all these details, so, but type in Yahoo search assist into Google if you can't get this all typed out. Yahoo search assist, another great tool, it gives you other keyword ideas pulled from their database. Uh, Quintera, it's a great place, you actually type in your keyword, and it gives you what's called a tag cloud, so like if your word's like, let's say you type in dogs, or you type in Panasonic, it'll give you a whole like cloud of keywords around it, of other options, you know, like Panasonic, and or uh, plasma, LCD, all these different options. So uh, the next one is compete.com. You could actually type in the main competitors that come up, like you could type in their exact page. Uh, you, you can just type them in and actually see what the main phrases are that they're getting traffic from. So find a, a website in that niche and just pull up, uh, you know, type that into compete.com. You'll get some ideas of, of profitable keywords. Spyfu.com, that's another good one. Uh, Word tracker. Uh, that's another one a lot of people like. And then uh, mynicheinspector.com, is that the one? Okay. Did you have anything you wanted to add there, Frank? No, you're okay. doing great. Great, <laughs> very good. I'm learning from this guy. Can you back up one? Yeah, I can back up one. 
inspector. My, my niche inspector. Is this for the you streamers? Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, step number three uh, is the domain name process. So I'm doing this again, step by step by step. So I'm gonna try and, and go as slow as possible, but also kind of pick up the pace so we don't run out of time. But okay, the first step here is find the domain name. I go to godaddy.com and I use that main keyword. So I'm gonna just go over to GoDaddy and if uh, Frank wants to comment on a few things, I'm gonna just register a domain name. Yeah. We've probably all seen this process. But I wanna show you how live this really is. You know, I'm registering a domain name live so you don't think this is made up or something. You notice I have a few GoDaddy accounts, okay. Okay, so I've logged into GoDaddy and the first thing I like to get, I wanna get a keyword focused domain name on that niche. So the keyword again was Panasonic 1080 Plasma and, and somebody else probably out there just registered it, but we'll see. It was available a few minutes ago, but. <laughs> okay, so domains, uh, let's see, register domains. And then I just paste in the keyword and I'll take out the spaces. And it's good to have a keyword rich domain. It helps you with selling it. It also helps with relevancy and it, mm -hmm. and it also will help you rank higher. So and we see that keyword. There you available. go, you got one available, right? Yep, that's, the, that's a great one because that's the keyword we're targeting. So that's a yeah. perfect keyword to get. So I'm gonna grab that domain. Paul, I'm gonna ask you a question that some other people might have. What are, go back up yeah. a little bit. What about the, the .me's, the .tv's, and infos, and nets, and things like that? I find more value with the .com domains. Definite mm -hmm. more value with .coms. They, uh, they carry a lot more weight, and you know, .nets just look like almost you know, second rate, like you're second to the table, you know? So right. it discourages it when it comes time to sell. Now, with that said, if you found a really hot domain name, you know, like a really cool one that's like out of this world, which I found a few of those, uh, then yeah, you would wanna register like .NET and the other ones, but otherwise it gets really expensive and, and they don't really benefit you at time of sale. So okay, so I got the, the domain here and I'm gonna scroll down and of course avoid all of GoDaddy's upsells. For those that are new out here, you're gonna get bombarded when you go to GoDaddy, so be yeah. careful. Paul, be sure, be sure and hide your credit card number somehow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah. use, uh, use PayPal so they won't even see that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna select, on step number four, I always select no thanks, I'm ready to check out or else you'll be there all day. Yeah. Which there's nothing <laughs> wrong with OTOs and upsells, but GoDaddy uh, will, will keep you there all day. You're the they master of, of pestering you with that stuff. Very much so. No worries about trademark names? Uh, nope, nope, there are, there are not any worries with that. You know, in fact, they, you know, it's almost, I'm no lawyer, but I haven't found any reason where they've been upset about it. You know, there's no reason for them to be. You're out there branding their name, you know, and things like that. So mm -hmm. if they're gonna go after me, they're gonna hit about 5,000 to 10,000 other niche marketers, you yeah. know, so I've never let it bother me. You know if you do a search on Google for GoDaddy discount code. Right. Oh, very good. Get, yeah. get yeah, get $2, search, for, search for GoDaddy discount code. Very good, that's a great Google. tip. There you go, yeah. Go ahead, while he's doing that, yeah. T as in, oh, DN, DN is in domain name coupons.com. Okay, good tip. Okay, so I've registered the domain name now and it's already gonna be showing up in my account. So I'm gonna jump back here to the presentation. Okay, so now that we've registered the domain name, sorry it's kind of sporadic, but I want you guys to see it done live. Now th this might, some of this stuff of course is gonna be old hat for some of you, but yeah. for some of you it's not too. We're gonna be going into some other things that might seem a little basic, but when you see what he does with it, you're still gonna go, oh wow. So this next phase, we're gonna point the domain name to your hosting name server. So by this point, you should already have a hosting company. I like bluehost.com or uh, hostgator.com. Those are good ones to choose from. And there's a lot of other ones out there as well. Okay, so now we're gonna add the domain name to the hosting count, and we're gonna actually point the domain name to the hosting name server. So, okay, so I go right back here to GoDaddy, and I log in, and I'm gonna scroll down to the site that I'm working from. I've got a few domains. 
Okay. And it should have showed up here. Let's just refresh that. So what I'm going to do here is basically tie this to my hosting account is all you're doing in this step. Very important step. There you go. Okay, there's the domain name. So I just clicked on the little check mark next to it, and then I click on name servers. You guys are probably all writing down all my websites, aren't you? <laughs> okay. So now we go to hosting uh, or custom name servers, and your hosting account will give you a certain name server name. So I already know mine by heart for the Bluehost account that I have. So that's what we're going to go off of. Again, okay. this is information that you get from your hosting company. Okay, your change has been submitted. Now, it's funny because a lot of people think that you can't point your domain name and, and they think, oh, I'm going to have to wait 24 hours yeah. for this to happen. I can get, you can get this done in, you know, in five minutes or so, as you're seeing here. So, so the next phase here, now, now that we've done that process, I go right over to the hosting account, which in this case, it's Bluehost, but this will work with cPanel. If you're using uh, cPanel, any cPanel account, HostGator, any other kind of hosting company using cPanel, this step works. So scroll down here, and we're going to be looking for domains, and then add on domains. Am I going too fast? Okay. I told you we're doing step by step. Yes. Okay, so the domain name, I just, again, plug that back in. And now it's going to verify the domain name. Okay, looks like it went through okay. So now I just click on Add Domain. And while that's taking place, we're going to just go right on back here to the presentation. Okay, so we've registered the domain, pointed the name servers, and now we've added it to the hosting account. And now we're just going to verify that the domain name is pointed correctly. All I do there is I just type in the URL just to make into sure something shows up yeah. into your browser. Okay, step four now. We're actually we're running this system, this module, off of WordPress. Uh, we only have time for one module, so we're going to be doing this one off of WordPress. So step number four, install WordPress. Now, a lot of people think you have to use all this you know, FTP and all those other things to make this work. Uh, but just to install WordPress, all you need to do is click a button, and I'm going to show you that. So now this has been attached. Okay, just in time. It just attached it to the account. And I'm going to go right back to the control panel again. And you go all the way down here to Fantastico is what we're looking for. It's called Fantastico Deluxe. It's got a little blue smiley face. You like Fantastico, don't you, Frank? Yeah. Okay, so you see here on the left side that blogs, content management systems, like you can install Joomla, you can install all sorts of fun things with Fantastico, so you definitely need to use it. Uh, but I'm going to type in here WordPress, or click, click on, on WordPress, it, yeah. not type it in. And then you look for new installation. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down, Say it will say here install on domain name, and we are looking for Panasonic, so it starts with a P. Panasonic 1080p plasma.com. Okay, so I select there, install in directory. I want to install it in what's called the root directory. So I want it to be, if they type in that URL, I want them to go right to my site. Otherwise, you can install it as forward slash blog, but we're not going to mess with that here. Because the best thing to do is install these kind of sites in your root directory. So you leave it empty. Yep, so leave it empty. Install in directory, leave that empty. Administrator username, just call it admin. Okay, password, I just put in a password. Okay, admin nickname. Again, that one I'm just going to call admin again. I'll put in my email. This is very basic stuff. And then site name, I just put in the keyword that we're working from. 1080p, that's like a kind of TV, I guess. It's like a, the way it displays. There we go, number of pixels. Then I just click on install WordPress. And notice how fast that worked. OK, and then click on Finish Installation. It automatically created what's called a, the MySQL database, for those who don't know. And notice how I just did that with the click of a button. Do you guys think that's pretty easy? Yeah, it's simple. 
And every hosting account has this. Paul, go into your uh, uh, account and change the password. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay. Do that soon. Okay, so we're going to log in right here. And the username, again, we're just input the information that we're working from. Okay, so the next thing here, so we've now installed the WordPress blog. We're going on here to step number five. And then I'm going to come back over here to the site and do a little administrative work. Okay, so now we have been all updated here. And I'm going to go right back here to the presentation, and we're going to keep rolling along. This plugin that he's going to uh, be installing here that he's going to show you is one that he's developed especially for this program. Okay, so FileZilla, uh, the next phase is to do FTP. Again, this is basic stuff, but it's very good to, you know, always remember the basics. Uh, FileZilla FTP client, just go to Google, type in FileZilla FTP, and this will come up. You can use any FTP program. Yeah, any FTP program. I love FileZilla because it's free. It's mm -hmm. open source. Don't have to pay for it, and it works perfect. Uh, so now, now we're going to upload the WordPress plugins, and we're going to upload our WordPress themes, which are act as the template for the site. So I'm going to do that for you in front of everybody. Let's see. We've been about a half hour so far. We're going to do this in an hour. And notice, I'm also teaching, too. Like I built a site mm -hmm. earlier today just to test, you know, make sure everything's going OK. And it took me about 20 minutes or so from start to finish. So it, it can get to that fast, you know, and it's pretty amazing with what you can do with these sites. There's a little difference. He's absolutely right there, except we're building a, an actual no, content I'm site. Right no, no, no. You're, you're absolutely right. I mean, what he's teaching you can do in seven minutes. We're adding content to it. And, and we're drawing people to it. We're, we're driving traffic to it, too. No, what, what he's doing is, is perfect. Everybody should have that DVD. OK, so with WordPress, you're looking for the WP-Content folder uh, within WordPress. And then you're going to open up plugins, because that's where you're going to install the things first. So you just open that up. And then I'm going to highlight all these different plugins. Now, there's a lot of different plugins. Uh, everybody may have recommendations. I'm using these ones for now. I like them. There's a lot of other ones that you could use. I just find these work best for this system. So, OK, so these are going to upload. It takes just a little bit. Notice how that works. The next thing I'm going to do then is just upload the themes. Uh, you can download themes from places like uh, themes.wordpress. You can type that in. Just type in like free WordPress themes. You can find all sorts of themes, you know. And as you'll see, it's just a click of a button, and you can change the whole look and feel of your website. So it looks like we're done with those. And then I just come right back. I, on the left side here, just so you know, this, these are the local files. These are on my computer, for those who aren't sure. And this is what we provide for you, too, by the way. Yeah, very yeah. very step by step. Because there are some proprietary uh, plugins yep. here. This is a special plugin. One of them is a very special plugin. And then for some of the other, other things, that they've been modified. You know, yeah. Some plugins have been modified to work with this. So I'm going to install, there's, there's one theme in particular that I'm going to be using here. So I'm, or I'm just going to install two of them just to save time. And you know, it's just simple as highlighting them, right-clicking, and clicking on Upload. So can you all do that? Very simple step, right? Everybody can do that. OK, so we've now installed those. I'm going to go right back over here to the presentation. OK, so we've now done that step. Step six now, we're going to be actually setting up the website. So now that we've installed it, we're just going to be setting up the website. How are we doing on time? How are you doing? You're about a half hour into it. Okay, great. All right, so you now got we're two hours to go. Okay, great. <laughs> it won't take that long. Okay, now we're going to install and activate the new plugins here. So you go back to your WordPress administration section. By default, it's it's your domain name forward slash wp dash admin, and then you log in there. And when you log in, you look for plugins. So you're going to go ahead and click on plugins. Oh, this is fun. Well, isn't this a great day? I, uh, I, I told him that whenever you do things live, 
something is going to go wrong. We're going to reconnect to the wireless here. So it might take 30 minutes to build a site when you have snafus, but that's all right. Yeah. Do you have your air card by chance? You know, it's up in the room, right? Okay. I don't. Okay. Oh, okay. So like that one? No, I would choose the conference center main. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, we're reconnected here. Yay. All right. Okay, so it's looking up the site and it's it's almost it's starting to slowly reconnect. Okay, this should be good now. Uh, the beginning, no, it's, there's just two slashes, yeah, thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, so, okay, so it logged me out when I did that, so I'm going to just log back into the administration side. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, uh, we have, going to plug in. we're going to go to the plugins, there we go. And I'm just going to be activating these different plugins. Now, the ones I installed, they're not, they weren't the latest version. And I do that on purpose so I can show you guys how to upgrade these. So you just click right next to it, upgrade automatically on the different plugins. And it's very simple. It's just a matter of point and click the mouse. You may be like, oh, this is so easy. But I'm just trying to show you how simple it is so there's no barriers to making money online. There's no excuse that you can't find a niche and get a site up rather quickly. RSS Post, this is the plugin that I, I had created uh, for this system. This actually works directly with uh, the eBay affiliate program and also other, other content. You can, you can actually feed in and, and make sure it's SEO friendly. Okay, so just have a couple more to update and then we'll be all set. Okay, it actually looks good. We're not going to worry about Akismet right now. Now we're going to just go over here and just click on Activate. And then go back down and click on Activate again. So first I upgraded them. If they needed an upgrade, then I just clicked on Activate. Um, those ones, these, these are plugins that help for search engine optimization. They help for creating a site map. Some of them are needed for the content module as well. Some of them are for uh, people wanting to subscribe to your blog. Some of them are used for social bookmarking on your blog. So there's a variety of different, they're, they're mainly used for marketing purposes. We're going to be pulling in actual content from uh, sites like eBay, from some data feed sites. And uh, these plugins handle all of that for you automatically. So they bring in a lot of that content. It's where your money comes from. Exactly. Exactly. And, and it's very automatic important. money. Yeah, very important steps. I like automatic money. So now that we've done the plugins, I'm, I go back to settings. After I go to plugins, I go right over here to settings. And I check the blog title, make sure that's correct. That should be the main keyword. And then right in front where it says WordPress address URL, I just like to go for. SEO purposes and indexing purposes, I always like to make sure my sites are indexed with both www and without the www because believe it or not, some of the search engines will still choose them as different backlinks. So I just fix it right here so that they all become the same thing. So that's just a very simple fix. When I do that, it's going to log me out, but that's okay. You make them all the same? Well, I make them begin with www dot the domain name. By default, WordPress installs it as HTTP colon forward slash forward slash domain and so I add the www dot in front of that just it makes it it'll make it index better otherwise they'll index it without the www and then you know you'll get links for www and links without and some search engines will view them as different so I just like to fix that issue right away and then you can also tell the people that are getting the site oops then you can also tell the people that are buying the sites from you, if you choose to do that, that they're more SEO friendly and you know you have all that more excuse. You're getting cancer until the city. Oh, I should be saving that password, shouldn't I? Okay, so we're logged in here again after I change that settings uh, information. So next thing is I go right over here to manage and I'm gonna just clean out 
uh, some of the links. But let's, let's first take a look at the website and just see how it looks right now. All right, here's the site. This is the default WordPress. Notice it hasn't taken very long to get to, get to this point where we have a website. So I'm just going to clear out the first post. And I just click on delete there. Pages for now, I'm just going to go ahead and clear that one out. And then links, they have a default blog role, and I don't want to worry about that. So I delete that out because it's not relevant. So now I just did a little cleaning of house. Notice how it looked before. I'm just going to refresh and it's going to be a little bit different. Oh, oh. hello. <laughs> Notice how it's a little bit different now. Put it up a little higher. Can you hear me now? There you go. There you go. Okay, great. Okay, so there's the site as it stands right now. So now we're going to go over here to uh, post. And let's go right over here then to to settings, excuse me, and we're going to work with the all-in-one SEO plugin now. And what you want to do is make sure your main keyword, you know, is up in this part as well. And then description is just a, a brief sentence that you can type out with the keyword in there. Okay, you can do a little better typing later on. Okay, page t post title format, I clear it out. This is, this is what you get when you install the all-in-one SEO plugin. So I clear out blog title for SEO reasons. I just want it to target one main keyword. It, it helps with keyword prominence, which helps with SEO. I'll just say it that way. Wait a minute, go up there just a little bit. Okay. Let everybody see what, what you did there. You took yeah. out just the top two. The, yeah, the top two, post title and page title. Um, and, and in fact, I should have taken out category title. And so I took out the part that says blog title. So make note of that with all-in-one SEO. And then just scroll down and click on update options. And then that'll update the website. Notice how the title tag, very top left corner next to the Mozilla Fox, it says Plasma, but I made that change. Now it says Plasma TV. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to uh, work on the design. And I just click on design up there if I want to work with the design. Mm -hmm. And I'm choosing to work with the Studio Press plugin. So these are two, or excuse me, themes. So these are two of the themes that I uploaded. So I just click on the theme that I want to work with. And then I just click on activate. And it's really cool. The latest WordPress shows you what it looks like in there. OK, so that's now activated. And notice again how simple that was to just, I just clicked on that, and now there's a new site totally new layout, and that could be changed around as many times as you want to. So the next phase here is we need to do a little bit of work in here. So we're going to work with adding AdSense code now. So let's pull up Google AdSense. Okay, AdSense set up. AdSense for content. Okay, click on AdSense setup and AdSense for content and select text ads only. That's what we're working with. And I'm coming over here to back to the site and I'm going to click on theme editor, make sure that's highlighted. What I like about this theme and most of the themes that I've carefully selected to use is they already give you ready made AdSense sections. And AdSense sites, people really like a lot when you're selling them. They're just something about Google AdSense and having that credibility. So it's certainly worth it to use it when you're building these. So can I, can I just interject something here? Uh, a lot of what uh, we're talking about here is building a site today and selling it tomorrow. So the, the, the more you can make that site attractive to a buyer, uh, the better off you're going to be. That's what he's talking about here. Exactly. You could keep that site and make money month after month after month. But if you're after the quick bucks, you build it today and sell it tomorrow. How many can you build today? Five, six, seven. Sell them tomorrow, you got five, six, seven hundred dollars. I'm just doing basic uh, working with Google AdSense here. So I'm just creating a new channel for this website. Uh, Panasonic. This is your AdSense? 
Uh, yeah, these are just diff some different sites that I've built to sell using this model. I, I mean, it's your, your AdSense account. You don't create a new AdSense account. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just create your own, and then when it comes time to sell, you just transfer. Uh, basically, they just insert their own AdSense code, you know, mm -hmm. where, where it used to say that. Good question. So I just hit submit and get code, and now I have this code right here. And I knew exactly what size to do because this cool theme actually told me what to do. They said 336 by 280. So it's very paint by the numbers. And then I just paste that in. I'm not a programmer either, so just so you guys know. So this is, you know, I'm no web designer, but I'm able to build a site really fast using these methods. So notice how that went in there. And I just click here and refresh. And it's going to be empty for a while because it takes about 10, 15 minutes for Google to actually pick these up. Okay, so now we're going to add in another AdSense. Yes? It tells you right below it. If you see over. Uh huh. Yes, that's a note. Yep. Yeah, so you don't want to delete it. If you read their little message, they're good about telling you to paste it underneath there. So, so they give you, and that's what's good about these themes is it, when you're starting out, it can be confusing. So that's why I like using a theme like this because you know exactly where to stick it. Stick the code. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Studio Press was the name of this theme. Yep, no problem. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to get ads because I've got to create one more ad for this site. And this one we're going to create an AdSense top. And this one's going to be called 468 by 60. Now these don't have to be just reserved for AdSense either. You could put in other banners, you know, like share sale banners, commission junction banners, uh, ebook banners. You can put whatever you want in here too. It'll just automatically show up in those same locations. So, so keep that in mind also. You're not limited to just AdSense because it says AdSense. You can do any kind of coding up there. And again, I'm just following the direction that that site gave me. That plugin told me what to use. And now that I've already created the channel, I don't have to recreate it. OK. So I'm just going to copy that in there, and then we're going to go to the next phase. OK, so notice how it just dropped it down. So the, I know the AdSense code's in there. It'll take a little bit for it to pick up, uh, but we don't have to worry about that now. We'll just go on to the next phase of this lesson. Wait, back up and show everybody what you were clicking on there. Um, right here, I, I was just showing them in the site. This is where you know it was. No, I right mean next. The gra you're in the grab bar RSS feed, right? Oh yeah, this is just the RSS feed. I didn't intend to be, but this this will actually pick up your RSS feed. This plugin's good for search engines as well. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to grab an RSS feed from eBay uh, with your eBay Partner Network code. So uh, to grab that, you're going to want to go to uh, eBay. Now this also will work. Uh, with Amazon or any place where you can actually get an RSS feed, affiliate data feed, this will also work. But I'm going to use eBay as an example because uh, I like using that. So, can I, uh, you want to explain real briefly why yeah. you use eBay? Yeah. Why? I like the eBay affiliate program just because you can be an affiliate for literally anything. And like if there's a really hot item during Christmas season or something that Walmart.com doesn't have, Amazon.com doesn't have, you can always find it on eBay. Um, that's their logo. but. Yeah, so you can be an affiliate you for it. virtually yeah. any Anything. product. You know, a Nintendo Wii, things like yeah, that. Yeah, Nintendo that Wii, nobody else can find them, but you can be yeah. an affiliate for them. And you can give people, they will pay a lot more money if, they, if the item's not in stock, which means more commission for you. You get paid through eBay. They give you 50% of, um, of their revenue. So like if you sell an item for 100 bucks, they might ch charge the seller, maybe it's $12. You'd get six bucks. If you bring in a new user, uh, you'd get $25, but in another month, they're changing that to where you might get anywhere from one to 50. But the sites that I'm building like this, I found that my quality score, as they call it, is good enough to where I, I'll get $28 per, per thing because it's targeted traffic. A lot of people are just sending them junk traffic, and so they're giving them $1 for those signups. But they'll give you up to $50 if you're sending them high targeted visitors. 
So that's why it's important to do your keyword research and send them direct Great. visitors yeah. So yeah. using this method. So that's why I love eBay, because you can be an affiliate for anything. And, and it's just ebaypartnernetwork.com to sign up. But before you sign up, you're going to want to have, you have to have a website. You know, they, like they want to look at something first. So make sure you have a site, put content on it, you know, no matter what niche it is, put AdSense. It, just have a site, you know, have a site to show them. So I'm just logged into my account here, eBay Partner Network. And I just go ahead and I'm going to click over here. Okay. So we've got to log back in. And we're going to go up here to campaigns. Okay, so the campaign, I'm just going to call it the website again. Okay, and then I just click on create. And once I've created that, I just come over here to campaign ID, and I'm going to con hit control C and copy that code. I always have a notepad file open, which this is kind of my, my cheat file, but I always have it open because it works so well. Um, just it, It's easy when you're building these sites. Have a notepad open with all your copy and paste in there. So now that I have that code, I come right over here to where it says tools in the eBay Partner Network account, and I click over here on widgets. And I'm going to be creating an RSS feed right now. So eBay US is what we're working from. Now notice how you can be an affiliate for eBay Australia, eBay UK, there's some pretty hot niches in those other countries yeah, too. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So now that we, we get to this page, it takes us to the standard advanced search page on eBay. And you just type in your product, very basic, Panasonic uh, 1080p. And then I like to do items like, I'll start them at like $5 because that will avoid a lot of these people trying to sell you a drop ship list, which won't do you much good. So I usually put in like a minimum of 5 to $10. And then as I scroll down, it says affiliate tracking information. This is the most important part. It's how you get paid. You just click on show, and then it brings down this little drop down and provider. And then you select choose provider. It's the eBay partner network. Uh, campaign ID, which I've already pasted. I'm just going to paste it right there. Custom ID is just the name of the website. That's what I like to use. OK. And then I just click on search. 58 items. 58 different items. And that will always refresh, too, like as eBay gets new items. But what's most important is once I do that, I scroll all the way to the bottom, and I look for this orange RSS button. Now, what's cool is you all know what an RSS feed looks like. But what's really neat about these is now Every one of these RSS feeds are now set up with your affiliate code in them. So what you do here then is just co I copy that over to a Word doc or to a, the Notepad file I use, and let's just paste over this one. Okay, so I just copy that over here to the Notepad file. And there's a plugin in there that we already use called RSS Post. That's a plugin that I had created. And you're going to get this, this special looking code that this actually, this special piece of software, you insert this code wherever you want this to display. And the reason I had that done is because a lot of sites won't give you that, that capability, you know, to have it displayed. So, so that's what I actually did. That's what I focused on there was getting one where you could actually have total control of where you wanted your RSS feeds to show up. And I also wanted it to be search engine friendly. So search engine spiders would pick up the code. So. So what I'm doing here is I now that I've, I've pasted that URL, I'm going to just view it without word wrap. OK, so I get the highlight that whole RSS feed again. And I'm going to just copy it directly. Where I put here, it says rssfeedhere.com. So I just go from that equal sign right over there to that comma. And we just paste it in. OK, so now that that's set, we're just going to hold that for right now. We're going to go right back over here to the website. And we're going to refresh, and the AdSense code should be working. So notice now how the AdSense code's working. So now we have some monetization here. And the next thing I need to do for marketing purposes is I'm going to go over here to settings, and I'm going to set up the ping list and make sure that's set up correctly. There's a special list of sites that you can ping that will tell them that your site's live. It'll help you get cached and indexed really quickly in search engines. 
Uh, right now they have one of them, Pingomatic, that's good. But here's a list of some really good ones that a lot of SEO people recommend, including myself. And where does that go from? These go out to sites called ping directories, sites that like I would like send a ping out and then it'll go out to like 20 different sites. In other like, words, it's just saying, hey, I just updated my, uh, yeah. my, my uh, page, go and look at it. Oh, oh, I, on the, on the, where are you putting it on the site? Oh, here? where am I putting it on the site? Yeah, you went I, into writing. Settings, I go under settings and then writing. And then I go down and on update services, that's where I paste this in there. And, and they have one by default called Pingomatic that's good to use. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, th that one's fine for now, but this is a good list uh, to really use and make sure that you're optimizing it as best as possible. Um, yeah, that could. Yeah, we could do that. We can give give that list. Okay, so the next phase here. Now that we've done this, is we're going to go right over here, and we're now going to work on some content for this site. And this is where it gets fun. So I just click on write. It's just very simple. And then the title of the post. On the very first post, I like to again use the main keyword I'm going after. And then on this site too, keep in mind you can create a lot more posts behind it. You can do you know, articles on different topics that you found in that keyword research. So now in this phase, I'm going to simply come over here and take an article. I wrote a very short article. It's like 200 words, 100, 150 to 200 words. And I'm just gonna go over here and copy and paste this in there. And so you want your first post, it can be 100, 150 words or so, and that's fine. So I just hit enter and then I'm going to come right back here. Notice, remember how I did this code up here. And I'm going to paste all of this in here with the RSS and that special code that I pasted. I'm going to put it right into the post. And then where it says tags, I just type in Panasonic. Plasma TV and just some other keywords. Under categories, I just create a new category and I want people to buy, so I'm going to call the category buy whatever the niche is. And then just click on add. And then all in one SEO pack, uh, if you, since you named the, the post that, you don't need to worry about that. And then we're just going to click on publish. and then go back to the website and refresh and we should have content up there. Okay, so now notice how it automatically, this plugin is really neat too because it automatically pulls in from the CSS file which is, controls what color your, uh, your links are and that encourages more click throughs because it's the same color as like the navigation links you see over in this area. So notice now how we've got, we now have uh, content in here that we can make money from. And from me making that one post, it automatically went out to the ping search engines to tell them to index the site. And it also now, like if I click on this, it'll take me right to eBay, starting bid $2,100. If I sell one of these or one of the other sites you know, on there, I'll get a great commission. Is that pretty slick or what? <laughs> Anybody like that? <laughs> And this is something else that's cool about this plugin is watch when I refresh it. This content's always updating, so Google spiders are always coming Look back to my site and saying, yeah. ooh, it's fresh content, you know, all the time. So, and also notice this in the view page source section. Now, you're probably like, what on earth are you showing me here? But you can actually see each individual post shows up here, and it's actually cacheable. A lot of, most of the time with affiliate uh, products like, or affiliate links, they run through like JavaScript things and so yeah. you don't get any SEO benefit. But this plugin, I'm an SEO guy, I made it for SEO. I also set these up with no follow tags to help with search engines as well. And you don't really need to even care what that means. No. It means the search yeah. engines are gonna find it better. Yeah, it means these sites are very search engine friendly, which also means that, you know, that you're now going to be able to uh, rank higher on the search engines and, and be able to get more for your website. Because this was designed by a search engine guy. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, um, I'll, we'll tell I'll get you. to that in a moment. Yeah. We'll tell you. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we'll get to it. Would you believe maybe we want to sell something at the end of this? <laughs> that's all right. 
There is um, one other thing here. It says to customize this message. It says go to presentation and theme options. So I'm going to just go in there and modify this. So you go to design, and this is just for this plugin, but it gives you that those directions. And the greeting, I'll just put the keyword again. Check out the great Panasonic. Now I could always modify that later, but this is just to show you how this works. And I just clicked on update that, and now we have a website built and ready to go. Now and how are we doing time wise? Wow. See that? So you built it and described it. And described it. In, in less than an hour. Less than an hour. Beautiful. So how many guys think you can do that? 30 minutes out of your day, just build a site. Especially if you got a checklist that's guiding you through each of those yeah. steps. Yeah, One. Like yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. <laughs> One by, you know, like eventually it's going to get easy for you, easier and easier for you. And you can build one, even just one site a week, you know. You could sit down and let's say you want to build you know, just one, or excuse me, one site a day. That's 30 minutes out of your day, 45 minutes out of your day, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, let's say if you built this today and come uh, Christmas time and even after that, what does a site, you know, like this typically bring in a day? I mean, what kind of, what kind of figures they, do you see? They don't bring in like huge, huge numbers, but like, you know, I've got a site that brings in about five, 600 a month, you know, a little site. Mm -hmm. But the thing is you get strength in numbers, you know? It took me on that site probably two hours total because I was starting out when I first did that one, and it's constantly been generating me three, four, five, six hundred a month consistently. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good return on time, you know. What, um, what do you uh, see as far as um, using um, eBay as an affiliate versus Amazon? Um, what I find is that you get, just because like with eBay, what I love so much about them is that they give you credit for new people you refer. Amazon doesn't. So you have a put, I figured it out, like the way the commission structure is for eBay, it's actually equal to Amazon's commission structure. What I like about eBay as opposed to Amazon is just that you have a chance to make $25 on a referral, which is pretty cool, you know, because Amazon won't give you $25 for new sign-up. But with that said, Amazon ads sometimes will convert better too, so you can always throw in Amazon ads. Like, you know, right, right in this area where I have all these AdSense, you know, things, you could put in an Amazon ad there if you wanted to. Uh, you know, so that's, that's an idea. So this is just one site. You know, we built it and explained it in under one hour. Uh, is that pretty cool? Yes. Good, good. Yeah. Yes, oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, well, good point. Bet, why don't you repeat the question? Oh, yeah, she asked the if there's a way to, you know, to generate backlinks. And I'm actually getting to that in another slide here, talking about link building. Okay. Um, and, and actually, he uses Traffic Geyser, too. I do actually use Traffic Geyser because it's using these niche keywords, and that's really what makes Traffic Geyser thrive. So, Okay, so I'm going to show you also one thing I do right after I build a site. I'm glad you mentioned that point, is I like to actually go to dig.com right away and log in and actually make a dig here because that'll help Google index it. And I'm, I'm going to wager a bet that this will be indexed by sometime tomorrow. And that usually is what happens. Like I don't go to Google and submit it to Google because they really, it doesn't work for me. It takes forever. I go out and find a backlink because they will pick up that backlink really quick. What I also think is, is pretty cool too is that they will actually index this dig page which will link into your site so then you can have multiple rankings. And then when you do a traffic geyser video, it's like game over. So, all right. So I just, I'm sure all of you have done a dig before, right? If you go to dig.com, just go into submit new. So right after you build your site, just go to dig. You can also use mix.com. That's another one. And I'm going to actually show you in another slides a few other tools to use. And I have a Windows Air. Imagine that. Okay. Okay, so it's digging the title. I, I want to make it an anchor text link. So again, I'm going to rename it that. I should probably recommend that you just paste in that main keyword because you notice I use it a lot. So I'm just writing in a little plug for it. Okay. 
Okay. And I'll just use one of those little pictures. Go to technology and gadgets. Would that be a gadget or hardware? Gadgets, I guess. Okay. And then just submit it. U H. Okay, then I just click on submit story. It's checking for duplicates. And I've already, by doing this, I've already started the cache process. Like it's, you know, meaning that Google's going to come in and, and cache this website very fast. And if not this website, within the next couple of days, this page in the next few days. So I can start getting traffic like right away. So don't you think that's pretty cool in less than an hour? You build a site and you can start getting traffic to it in less than an hour? Yeah. It's, it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to go, yeah. <laughs> My wife says, good job, sweetie. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Kristen. Okay. So let's go over here and go over here to step eight. Okay, so right here I wrote the content and I submitted that. And you guys saw me do that. I actually wrote the content. I didn't want to do it live so because it take too long. Prepared it in a content file. I added in the special eBay RSS code. I uploaded it to the website back in and refreshed the site to check the affiliate links. This is very step by step. Okay, so driving traffic. I did the dig.com thing. This is very important, fun part of this process. Uh, dig.com submission, that starts the cache process. Socialmarking.com, you can find over 100 different social bookmarking websites that you can tap into and use to generate traffic. A lot of them will give you good backlinks. Some of them will just give you traffic. The ones that that give you traffic will also expose you to other sites that may end up linking back to you. It's pretty cool how that works. I um, also recommend that you write one four to five hundred word article and then you take that article and you submit it out to article directories like eZine articles. Then you create a Squidoo page. Now keep in mind when you create this article use that main keyword in there. Yeah, uh, just uh, one little point too. We use a, a service called iSnare. I S N A R E yep. dot com. That's a great very one. inexpensive, and it takes those articles and it sends them out to a lot of places, real quick. <laughs> my my grandparents and Aunt Marcia say hello too. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and by the fun. way, I should point out his dad is back here. Right, in the my room dad's too. back, Dan, stand back up. there. Stand up. Are you proud of your son, Dan? <laughs> So then uh, what you do is with uh, squidoo.com, uh, you take that same article, post it on there using that keyword as well. Uh, go to hubpages.com, do the same thing. Notice how you're leveraging that one article. You know, a lot of people get tied up, oh, I've got to create all this content. Well, just create one article and submit yeah. it multiple places. Uh, Weebly.com, that's another great one to use as well. And then you take that article and you convert it into a press release. You can just, you know, kind of angle it with, oh, I now have this product in stock or this site, you can find this item in stock or find out more information about this great item and submit it to press release sites. Yeah. No, no, eZine won't penalize you. No, in fact, it'll get you a lot more exposure. Like, um, you'll get backlinks from it, which are very helpful, but you're also going to get exposure. You know, it's kind of like when you market a business offline, you want to have, would you rather have 50 places to have your ad or just one place, you know? So I like to get overall exposure because I find articles just themselves rank high in the search engines, you know. And so you can actually dominate that first page for these keywords if you get it out to enough places. So no, they won't penalize you. Yeah. And then convert it into a press release. Submit it to press release sites. So take that content and work it into a press release. Uh, convert the article content into a video, you know, like take a slideshow background. You can use a, uh, pr a PowerPoint like I'm using or if you do not have uh, a publishing, use something from Open Office. You can just Google up open office. Go to Microsoft.com and get Photo Story 3. That's another great one. Or Traffic Geyser. Yeah, exactly. Or Traffic Geyser lets you create these too. No, Traffic Geyser will submit or create these uh, slideshows. And, and these slideshows are great. You can talk, take the content from that article, work it into a slideshow, title that, that video with the name of your keyword, and submit it with a tool like Traffic Guys. Mm -hmm. You guys also have a 30-day trial. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we can give you one. Oh, okay. here. Go to trafficgeyser.com slash birthday. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you Sorry go. to put you on the spot, but that's a great one. <laughs> yeah, you put me on the spot there, Turkey. I know, I did. <laughs> hey, but you want them all to use that tool, that's right? That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, convert article into audio. Uh, so now you take 
the article and you actually just speak it. You know, take a USB microphone and talk about it. Mm -hmm. Talk or talk what you wrote there, you know, and then that will also be used with that video that you see. And then when you use Traffic Geyser for the, the 30 days, if you, just, if you decide to use that, it'll actually submit it to podcast directories. Mm -hmm. It will also socially bookmark you automatically. Yeah. I'm not just doing an infomercial for Traffic Geyser. I plug it because it works and it's the best tool I've found to do this. And it's not, you know, that I'm sitting here saying, oh, I'm with Frank Souza, I'm gonna talk about it. It's because it works, you know, that's why I use it. Uh, submit to RSS directories. Uh, you can also look up, look up like RSS directories, take your site and actually uh, the XML part of your site and submit that to RSS feeds or RSS feed directories and that'll help get you more backlinks, more traffic. And also go to relevant uh, forums like I'm in the, what do we do, uh, Panasonic? I could look up Panasonic forums and I could go in there and I could ask relevant questions about the Panasonic and then in my signature line I conveniently have a link to my website. It'll work out really good. And then you can go to find relevant blogs and comments, find like, you know, uh, electronic blogs and, and sites like that, electronic forums, find different, different blogs related to that niche, you know, TV blogs, and then post comments there. Did you guys get all this? Okay. Okay, you can also add value to, the, to these websites, you know, write five to ten additional articles with those keywords. That will increase the value of these sites when it comes time to sell because unique content really, really is one of the key drivers behind this, but also good monetization. Like you saw that site had AdSense and eBay all in about, about 30 minutes if we were just to do it without talking. Use keyword research for the topics that you saw used with the AdWords keyword tool. Use Dig uh, for other topic ideas. I love to go to dig.com, I mentioned it yesterday. I type in like Panasonic, for example, since we're doing that, and it will pull up a list of the top Doug articles, and that gives me ideas because I say, oh, everybody liked this article on the Panasonic, so I'm gonna write something about it. So use dig.com search feature. Uh, prepare the content in a text file. It makes copying and pasting it much easier. You don't run into formatting issues with uh, like using a Word document. Then you just simply upload it, this new content. And then you post the website for sale. So you write a description about your website. Uh, I'll go into more detail about this um, later for you guys. Um, you write description. You list it on auction websites and forums, uh, eBay.com. So in your description of your site, you talk about the niche. You take pictures of screenshots of the site. You talk about how it's monetized. You just build it up, and then and then typically you can get a good sale for it. Go to eBay.com. Um, the best times to list uh, on eBay is uh, any time after, you know, like when people would be awake, you know, like at, usually it's the evening time that's the best, so any time after like 7.30 Eastern time is the best time to list your auction because it'll end about that time. You'll get the maximum number. And then also like auctions that end on Saturday for some reason don't do that well. So it must be because people are out and about. So try and do it sometime during the week about 7.30ish. Uh, try with websites, it's better to keep your auction length shorter too. So try and go with like one day or three day auctions. If you go with seven day auctions, people might forget about it. So if you do a three day auction, you want to create that urgency when you're selling these sites. So you want them to be like, oh, oh I want to buy this, you know. I can't miss out on it. iOffer.com, that's another site to use. At SitePoint.com, they, they do charge for listings. iOffer.com is free. They make you pay at the end if it sells. So keep that small commission in mind, but that's, that's okay. They do help you market it. Digital point form, they're free to list, but you do have to have some post build up. So um, how many of these could you build in a day? How many of those can you build in a day? Let's say you've got a full-time job and you, you come home at night, you're dead tired, you sit down, have your dinner, you got what, two, three, four hours before bedtime, right? So you're gonna watch the boob tube, or you're gonna build four sites. Turn around the next day and you sell those sites for 100 bucks a piece. How much do you sell those sites for, Paul? You can sell them for anywhere 50, 100, 750. I'm gonna show you some examples of some of these sites that I've sold and, and that have sold. So let's say you just build two a day. And we we'll use that as a sample, but yeah. you can do much better than that. Take a Saturday. Take a Saturday and say, I'm really gonna sit down and do this. I'm gonna build eight sites this, this weekend, a Saturday. And you could even even be like, build one site a, a week, you know, that's yeah. four a month. Whatever. How many of you ha don't even build four sites in a month, you know? Yeah. It's powerful, two hours out of your month, you can have four websites using this model. How many posts do you need after the first 
Uh, well, I recommend that you do more, like maybe a total of five posts to add more value to it, but you can sell a site with just what I did that fast. But you can increase the value by having more content on it. So you're going to build what, two, four, set, set a goal and, and just say today I'm going to build two sites. And, and Tomorrow the I'm going to build two sites. Is, this is what I'm going to do. Maybe don't look like, oh, I'm going to turn around and flip this so much too. You yeah. can also look at, oh, I'm going to build a site and then I'm going to do all these traffic things and then I'm going to sit back and then I'm going to build another one yeah. and then I'm going to build up a nice residual income because what happens is once your site's earning money, you can actually get a lot more than, than what you're asking. Sure. Like you can actually go 12 times the earnings. So let's say you earn $100 in your first month because you do some heavy promotions and things. Uh, you can actually take that site and you could potentially sell it for, you know, 750 to 1000 bucks or so. There's a lot of things you can do with this. We're going to be talking about a lot, a lot more things real quickly that you can do with these two. Uh, so what if you could sell these tomorrow for $100 or more? Would that make you pretty happy? Yeah. Can anybody use an extra $100 tomorrow? Sure. Well, somebody's going to because you're going to get this website. Yeah. So you could make, you know, another, again, 200, 400, 600 or more, you know, very, very quickly using this method. Yeah, $600 in a day or two. Or, you know, or turn around and that could be your monthly income from that one site. It's right. pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. So this is an example of a site, uh, $750. This one actually just it ended last month, $750. It's a very basic site. I looked up when it was uh, picked up. It was actually picked up like five days before that auction went up. So they built it fast. It's using the WordPress model, sold for $750. Here's another one, $99. I'm going to give you a whole range of, of options here. Another one, $499. Uh, this one is, is showing here over 12 months earnings. It actually went for $8,000. So not only did they make money each month with this site, but it also turned around for $8,000 and, and actually made $8,000. So, you know, make about, let's see what they were doing on this site. They were doing about 500 a month with this site. So that was about 6,000 a year or yeah, 6,000 a year, sold it for 8,000. That one site made them $14,000 over a course of 12 months. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. I, I wrote an article one time uh, called The Money is in the Drop. And it was something I learned from Wade Cook, who used to be a cab driver. And he was one of the highest paid cab drivers in his company. And you know, most of these cab drivers would really try to get the really, really long rides where they could uh, take somebody and drive them for two, three hours, maybe take in a $100 fare or whatever it was back then. But what Wade would do is, you know, every time you pick up somebody in the cab, you put down the flag, there's a $2 charge, and then it starts picking up from there. And he says, that's where the real money's at. So he would try to get the short ones, pick them up, haul them over there, pick somebody else up, haul them over here, and pick up that extra two bucks for every time he picks somebody up. And, you know, it's not the big kill. It's not the one master thing that's going to make you a million bucks tomorrow. It's these little things that you can do over and over and over and over that can make a huge, huge difference. All right. Here's one more example, $4,000 the site sold. Yeah. Uh, all they did, they, they built it up, they built up some content, they made money with it, and then they sold it. So again, you know, it's that, that small site. Here's another site. This site is about a five-page website, just closed. It went for, it was $1,000 in Australian money, so $714 in American money. Very simple site. In fact, I'll show you how to build this style of site. It's a pretty amazing. Uh, social community site went for $27,000. This site was pretty new. Uh, went for $27,000. And it made some money. Yeah, it was a couple years old, the domain was. And uh, so then there you go, another 27000 So you notice how just in two years' time, they made themselves you know, 14000 each. So today, you just learned one system, uh, one system that you learned today. Um, so how would you like to know 12 of these step-by-step -step business models? Would that be pretty cool? Yeah. Uh, so I've also got a module where I work with affiliate data feed websites. Yeah, um, let me describe and, data feeds. Yeah, and while he talks about bit. I'm going to actually show you an example of how cool this when, is. When uh, my first software product was called the Secret Money Generator. And a lot of affiliate companies like ShareASale and stuff like that will give you a database. Uh, it's a spreadsheet file. And in that spreadsheet file, you might have a URL to an image of a particular product and then another uh, description of the product and then the price and all, all of the different elements that you need on your sales page. And what the secret money generator did was it would take that entire database 
and merge it with a template and build an entire online website in about a minute. Uh, once, once you got that all set up, now what Paul has done is he's taken that to the next level. Yes. We, uh, oh, go back, ahead. You know, we still use it today, and we still make money with, with uh, data feed sites today. I took it off the market for two reasons. I didn't want people competing with me, and number two, I was getting kind of tired of the technical support because we were making plenty of money just using it ourselves. And, and I'm not a very technical person, if you can believe that, and so I got sick of trying to work so hard to make these things work and said there had to be a faster solution that was very simple to use. So I had this script built. It's just two little PHP files, the, the software built. And you just go to the cert, you upload it to your directory and you go to it on your site. And then what I do then is you take the, the CSV, the data feed file, and you convert it to what's called CSV. And then what I'm gonna do here and show you live, I'm gonna actually add, I don't know, probably about 70 to 100 products to this one website uh, in a matter in a very short time. So notice this website says there's no products found. It's a live demonstration. I'm gonna come over here and browse my computer for the CSV file, which will show you how to make these. And just open that up. I'm gonna name it. Because we're here at JV Alert. Website title, I'll just put it in. Okay, now we're just gonna click on submit. And when I click on submit, it's going to automatically create the RSS feed. Notice, notice how fast that was. And now I automatically have the RSS feed. And now I can take this RSS feed and I'm gonna just integrate it into this blog. Notice, remember this blog had no content? Now every single one of those links that you saw on that RSS is embedded with my affiliate code. So I just go over here to syndication. There's a special plugin that's formatted for this. I'm gonna come over here and take that code that I just worked with and syndicate it. Notice how fast I'm doing this. It's, it's very simple. Once you get the hang of it, this just goes really quick. Click on use this feed and we're gonna take just a short time while this updates. Okay, it says update complete, 121 new posts added. So let's refresh and look at that. There's now 121 products and posts. Each product is now an individual post on the website. You guys think that's cool? Yeah. yeah. Now check this out. I can click on it in here and now I can actually go to it. Notice the title tags up there are automatically optimized for that keyword phrase. And also notice what I did here is I formatted it with another piece of code so that you can click this. This is a no follow link. But I click on that and this takes me direct to the affiliate now. So now I'm direct on the affiliate page. So now I can get paid a commission on that. Every single product, I instantly, in a very short time, it takes you about 15 to 20 minutes to do this whole process, mm -hmm. set up a site with over 100 products. You guys think that's cool? Right. Yeah. So what's right. that? That's, that's number two? That's, that's number two, yeah. That's there's, number two. We got 10 more to go. Yeah, there's 10 more modules. There's, there's a lot here. It's, it's pretty exciting stuff, don't you think? And it's very easy to maintain. You don't have to be technical. It's not, it's a great piece of software, but it doesn't take, you know, a ton of, ton of effort to work, as you saw. Okay, so I'm gonna also show you how to do WordPress blogs with automated, targeted, and relevant content. You can create these really fast. Uh, I have a site that just automatically uh, creates content, and now it's up to like 400 or so posts, and I have all these pages of content, and I can choose what I wanna do with that site. I could link it to one of my other sites that's in that same niche or I could sell the network, you know, a lot of options. It doesn't take very long to build either. Are you guys beginning to see why I got excited when he was yes, telling me sir. what he was doing? Uh, I'm also gonna show you how many of you guys have PLR content on your computer? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, PLR. how many of you would like to be able to take that PLR content and turn it into a cash generating website really fast? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that also. Uh, setting, how many of you guys know how popular Dig is? Everybody talks about dig.com? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like to create your own dig.com site? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna show you how to do that also. We don't have a lot of time to show okay. them that right no, now. No, I'm gonna show them, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, that's a process. 
Um, there's also niche article directories. You can create your very own article directories. I'm going to show you how, show you how to monetize them correctly, show you how to set them up for SEO because I don't do anything unless it's SEO friendly. So keep in mind that everything I promote is search engine friendly, which is different, you know, which is the way I'd like to brand myself. Uh, so, so you can set up these niche article directories. You can set up directories that automatically, every time someone submits something to say it's Article Trader or another big article directory, it will automatically feed that content directly into your site. So it could be a financial site, it could be a bird site, a lobster site, whatever kind of site yeah. you have, it could feed in, you could have your own niche directory. So I'm continuing, uh, set up a dropship e-commerce business. This is actually a site that I own. I'm going to show you guys how you can set up your own site that's very similar to this site. This is a site that I own. Uh, look at that, it looks just about as good as a lot of Fortune 500 sites. Mm -hmm. And all these products, it's called drop shipping. Every single one of these products is actually, we don't in, in inventory those products. You actually place your order and they just charge the credit card and then we, the markup is the difference, is the profit. So now you can sell physical products. Sites that sell physical products sell for a lot more money. I'm going to show you how to build these sites as well. You guys think that's cool? Yeah. Yeah. All right, set up a forum website, you know, uh, like the Warrior Forum, uh, like your favorite uh, pet forum or any kind of forum. I'm going to show you how to set up your own forum website and make it search engine friendly. I'm also going to show you how to set up a social community website. You saw that one social site went for $27,000. I'm going to show you how to do that also. Uh, also, news websites, very popular. You can actually take a news website, uh, blog about some of the latest news, uh, feed in content for some of the latest news, and you can get a ton of traffic really, really quick. Uh, also, do you guys think it's cool? You can set up your own online arcade. Isn't that pretty neat? You guys want to learn how to do something like that? It's kind of fun, unique, different. So you can actually you know, play your own games and things like that. Uh, also, show you how to set up a site like Craigslist. You know how popular that is. I'll show you how to set up a site just like it without getting in trouble. Uh, I also want to give you guys a special ebook report which show you how you can turn this into a full-time uh, business with the potential to be 10000 a month or more. This report's amazing. Uh, I just finished it. It actually shows you a map for getting the, uh, this whole process together, mm -hmm. for actually getting this to where you can create a very large business out of it. Is that pretty exciting? Yeah. yeah. Um, you can also learn in this report how to create sites that sell for 50000 or more. That pet site I showed you, it's worth pretty close to 200000 150 to $200,000. I actually sold a site, uh, as Frank will attest to, for $785,000 for somebody. Mm -hmm. I was the broker on that deal. I sold another site for $240,000. So I know a thing or two about website evaluations as well. And that's something that you get with me that's different from a lot of people at this course. So I've been there and done that, know how to value a site. Uh, free 60-day access to a monthly membership club. Uh, this monthly membership is going to include new modules just like this. So you get 12. 12 here, six today, six within uh, seven to 14 days. And this is going to be, uh, these modules will be delivered downloadable version for you in, in online video. So these, you get a new module each month, a monthly call where you can call in and with the webinar format, ask questions beforehand, and I can actually step you through any snags you're having with any of the systems. Uh, monthly templates, you get a new template to use with these different modules. Isn't that pretty cool? So now you don't have to have the same plain Jane stuff plus some additional resources and marketing materials, uh, things I may throw in, SEO time, just different webinars, I might have special guests. It's a very valuable membership. You get that for 60 days free. Uh, Q&A forums also for members, so you guys can ask questions back and forth. Everybody that's a part of that. Uh, you're also going to get, this is exclusive for the JV Alert crew, four hours of webinars where you ask questions, uh, two one-hour Q&A webinars. So you guys get to be in control. That's six hours all together. Yeah, six, well, there's, I'm going to break oh, it down oh, here. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's all right. One one-hour SEO webinar where I talk about SEO. That's my specialty, and then one one-hour traffic generation webinar as well. So I'm going to show you more of the traffic SEO traffic generation are the same thing, really. But I'm going to just show you uh, both of them really broken down, and you guys can ask any question you have to me. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. All right. Um, Thirty-day unlimited personal email support. I will give you my personal email. You guys can actually email me anytime with questions related to this. I will try and respond within 24 to 48 hours for the next you know, 30 days and, and beyond. Um, so you can also learn in this how to flip domains for fast profits. That's an additional webinar. Uh, so you can learn how you can tap into some pretty hot domains, 
uh, do, the, do the research on them, tap into some hot trends, turn around and flip those domains for a couple thousand dollars, three, four, five thousand dollars, maybe a hundred dollars. Just quick, you buy the domain, you don't even have to build a site on it, buy the domain and sell it. So it's pretty neat. You also can get 100 HTML AdSense optimized templates, 100 WordPress AdSense optimized templates, 100 forum AdSense optimized templates. Notice the theme here. 100 headers in five formats to use for your different sites. And these are niche templates too, so like you already know what niche you want to go into when you see these templates. Uh, quality PLR content, remember one of the modules I talked about PLR content. I'm not here pitching PLR stuff, I just want to give you great PLR content that you can actually just use that I've access to. materials they can use to get these yeah. things started. It's materials you can use yeah. to get these sites started. That's not a big part of this. It's just something that you need so you don't even have to think about it. You just go. I'll also show you how to discover and access premium age domain names which will instantly increase the value of your site. So I'm going to show you a couple places I go to find domain names for like literally I've bought eight year old domain names with age behind them for um, Five dollars plus the ten dollar registration. So fifteen dollars, I got eight year old websites. I'm going to show you how to find those sites. One and a half hour audio on the 15 biggest search engine optimization mistakes. That's pretty important when you have a website. And then also I'm going to teach you how to access nearly unlimited royalty free music through Creative Commons Source. This is an amazing tool. You can use this when you're creating your videos. Uh, this, this alone is worth a lot of money. Also, I'm going to give you a niche list with the 25 hottest Christmas gifts. You guys want to know what those are? Mm -hmm. You guys will get that list so you guys can tap into the hottest Christmas trends this year and start making money fast. That's the goal here. So how much could this be worth to you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. Yeah. Stop here. I think you forgot something. You forgot the, uh, uh, the plugin that, that oh. you created. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. Yeah, those plugins are all, all included. You're also going to get... Um, some we're of the, you know, the resources, the, you know, you were looking for some of the special codes. Yeah, you're talking about the plugins that draw that stuff in from eBay, that draw yeah. in the data feeds. That's included too. And these are video modules too, step-by-step -step video modules. And so you can replay them, you can fast forward, you can rewind, you can, you know, take it at your leisure. You know? now, now, let me say something here, Paul. Be, Paul and I kick this around a lot. What do we want to sell this for? And you guys know what it's worth. You, you, you've seen what he does, you've seen what it's worth. And when Paul and I sat down and uh, talked about this, I said, let's make it so obviously simple that literally there's nobody in this room that can't do that. I, honestly and truly, there are people that can't afford to spend $2,000 for another program right now, right? Anybody in that mode? Yeah? We, we figured let's put something together where they could actually pay for it in a weekend. Is that fair? Does that sound yep. good? Very good. How's no. that price look to you guys? $697. We're, we're not going to dicker. We're not going to play a funny game, anything. $697. That's a steal, guys. You can make that back in a weekend, literally. So, so this, is, this is it. You built the site in less than Thank one you. hour. Talk to us. Hope you guys had a good time. I'll be in the back. <laughs>